Hello Internet. Another victim of overclocking is on my table. This time it's Zotac 3080, where I'm currently finishing up with the excavation of what's left after a mini explosion. My guess this card was overclocked to death, or it was poorly maintained, as you can see by the dirt and hair inside the heatsink. But what do I know? I'm only here to fix things, not to break them. Next step is to verify that the shirt circuit I previously had there is gone. And it looks like it is. So we can power the board and see if we get all the required voltages. We have 5, 1.8, core, memory and packs. Now let's look at the oscilloscope and make sure that we have all phases. Everything seems to work as you would expect, but the card is not going to boot because there is a gap in power delivery. This card has 6 MSVDD phases. Fifth one burned out and now we have to disable it. MSVDD phases on this card are controlled by this UP9511 chip. And we now need to disable no longer existing phase. To do this, we need to remove all resistors that are connected to the sense number 5 pin. Looking at the board, all I find is this one resistor here. And looking at the other side, there are no resistors present, as indicated by the board view. Once I made sure there are no resistors connected to the sense 5 pin, I will now connect sense 5 pin to 5V using 100K resistor. That's it for the sense 5 pin. Now let's deal with the PWM signal. Looking at the schematic, it suggests that we need to connect this pin to ground using 1K resistor. Following the board view, it looks like that resistor is not soldered, because this phase is not disabled yet. So let's solder the 1K resistor there now. Job is done. We now have phase 5 disabled. So let's take a look at what signals we get now. This is where phase 5 used to be. We have no signal there. This is 6th phase. We have no signal there either. That means if you disable any of the phases, next phase in line, however many there may be, will also be disabled as a result. To prove the concept, let's boot the card and see if we get a picture now. No picture. My guess that burn driver MOSFET didn't only kill a phase, but it also took some of the HDMI connections with it. So let's try display port instead. There we go. And display port works. At least we can see what we're doing. So let's wait for the driver to pick up automatically and then quickly run a small test to make sure nothing's crashing. Next step is to cover it up with solder mask, make it look more or less acceptable, and then uh, continue with some more stress tests, make sure that everything works fine. While it seems like everything is fine, the MSVDD circuitry is now working much harder than it was, due to loss of two phases that would otherwise bear the load. To make sure this card will not kill itself from overloading, we need to undervolt the core just a little bit maybe by about 10% or so. That way we reduce the amount of load applied to all phases, yet at the same time we have 90% functional GPU. 90% I think is better than 0% in my opinion. What do you think? 
Do you guys think that this repair is reasonable to call success or a no fix, no charge? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Goodbye.